Hey everyone, we are working on the car today, finally. It has been so long, I've been waiting. Um, I did get to drive it to bring it over here not uh, too long ago, probably a couple weeks but uh, we are now in a place to be able to start working on it. So I'm here after work. I work behind here um, at my parents company, but here's the car. We're gonna get started working on it. Today's goal is to completely take off all the damaged parts from last season. Um, so we're looking at front fenders, which right here, uh, front fenders, front bumper, uh, this door needs to come off, but I'm gonna wait for it to uh, I'm gonna wait to do that because I have a parts car that I bought that I'm gonna get the doors fenders off of uh, We're gonna be taking this bash bar. I hit a wall last season So that's kind of this whole side of the car, but uh, With that being said I hit hit a wall here, so I want to get this bash bar off. I want to get uh, this tail light out and start seeing how how much I can beat out my goal is to try to get it as close as I possibly can so I can hopefully just keep these over fenders right here and uh, just body work the rear quarter I don't know how how easy that's gonna be so for right now I'm just going to hope for the best I have a Porter power um, that we've had sitting in um, sitting in storage so I'm gonna see if that works if it works we'll try to use that to get out the dents some major issues that I have are right here this big dent um, in the quarter so of course I'm gonna to try to pull that out but today's goals are front fenders front bumper rear bash bar and taillight so shouldn't be too bad um, but here we go Uh, uh, working on the car. So this is that back valence piece that goes in between uh, the taillights. And it was actually on the side. I thought it was a lot worse. So I was kind of thinking, uh, since these are hard to come by, to try to see if I can make a fiberglass version. That way if I hit another one. But it's not too bad. So I think I'll be able to straighten it out and bend it out to where it's hopefully going to be able to be used again. All the tabs are in good condition with the studs. So only damage is starting kind of like right here. So and going through this area. There's a big dent here, but I think we can get it out. Oh, this makes my heart hurt so bad. Look how bad it is. No. Although I'm being a baby about my first big uh, wall hip, I wish it was more cool than an accident, but I do have to say the Drift Armor Bash Bar did work. As you can see here, it, it sprung back all the way till touching the body, but it's still intact. This has a little bit more of a bend, but it is well worth saving the whole edge of my car. There's some spot welds that are broken, which is kind of sad and it's crinkled, but Hopefully we can save it. Hopefully we can bang it out. I'm sure we can. I've seen worse. So we're going to just do our best.
So as far as I can tell, nothing up here structurally uh, was damaged. The only thing that got pushed in uh, was this little spot right here, right on the intercooler. But it doesn't seem like it's leaking. Um, it just barely got bent down and these are just folded over just a little bit. So um, I think that's good as far as structurally on the sides here. None of this uh, really was damaged or moved uh, with hitting the wall. Um, I do see a little bit of crinkling here, uh, but I don't think that is much of a problem. Um, other than that, uh, this might have gotten just a little bit bent, but that's going to be okay. And back here, where it was kind of kicked in, we had already bashed this in, so this is actually a little bit more... Um, as you can see there we go this is a little bit more in from normal but structurally I do have a anti-intrusion bar in there so I think it kept it pretty much in the same spot uh, another place down here that I'm not happy with is this rocker section now um, this is actually one of my biggest pet peeves of rockers being dented so hopefully there's a way we can get that out uh, eventually I do want to put side skirts on the car so that will obviously cover it. So we're able to complete the goal of getting the damaged body panels off except for the door which we'll do in a later video. I didn't want to open it up and let the rain in or any moisture. So we'll do that in a different video. But the damage doesn't look too bad. It is going to take some hammering and some beating. So I'm excited to see how close we can get it back to where it was. So that's just something that we're both going to have to look forward to and both going to see how it comes out. Thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate it.